Hey guys, it's Newton Zone here. Welcome back to my let's play of Okami VHD Remake. It's been a while, but I've been up to a few things recently. Uh, so hopefully, I'll be getting a few more videos out in the next week, two weeks. But uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Anyways, last time uh, we cut down, we saved Kamiki Village from the peach where it was in, but hanging on the tree. Uh, came round, uh, found the villagers in stone, took out some imps, uh, saved all of them and started having a look around. Uh, we met up with Susano, who you can see in the distance just here, uh, who said he would cut down a boulder up there, but said he needed to go and train. Uh, this episode, we'll go and help him and hopefully move on. Uh, so, without further ado, let's go and have a look to see what he's doing. These trees at the moment, uh, we can't do anything with those. We will have the ability to do soon, but we need to check on Susana first. No, I told that bridge I could help people. Uh, hold on, that size? I don't care. Uh, it's just too big. Huh? Oh no. I can't believe I've run out of sake at a time like this. Uh, I'm gonna do one thing. That's it today. I'm gonna have to do a train tomorrow. Are you blurred? Ugh. I can't train with that sack of fuel to fuel the fire. Train him, you'll just have to wait until tomorrow. Why do today when you can be put off to tomorrow? That's the only thing, so it's just not a way. Trust me, mate, uh, as someone going through a education at the moment, that is probably not the best of ideas. Uh, but. Anyways, sake. Hmm. Oh yeah, that, this village has sake brew, brewing girl, doesn't it? I guess we gotta go and see Kushi again, if I remember the name correctly. I've been known to completely forget names, so need to go and see this person again. And uh, some, in a case like this, some characters will actually come and. Well, Interact with the man, I say. Oh, hello there. Uh, I've got a bit of a problem, you know. I have to... I have to polish rice in the mill house before I can use it. Is that polish? That does not seem like the right word. Anyways, uh, but the mill is broken. A wicked monster broke it the other day. Yeah, we saw that earlier. It's hopeless trying to make good sake without a clean rice. Oh, that's too bad. I should never have let the monster try my new thunder boom. I wrote the mill on Flag Fox. That's not the facts I get. Don't go give a monster sake. They're bad enough sober. <laughs> Sheesh. What was she thinking? Anyway, I guess it's about fixing something that's broken. That sounds like something you could handle with your brush, Ami. Uh, give me two seconds. I'm actually gonna set a settings tab anywhere. So I can really do trying to speed up text. So I swear. Ah, uh, nope, that's bark. Uh, that better? Uh, can't control the. Uh Okay, interestingly, that something that was in the original version, well, the original uh, PlayStation copy is that due to the load times taking so long, it used to be that there was a minigame you'd play, uh, but it was taken out for Wii version and they've left it optional for players. Anyways, we need to fix the mill, so we just do that. Yeah, sorry about blubbering, I'm trying to find a way to speed up the text. What's this? The mill's been mended! What on earth did that? 
I'd completely given up on the idea of making my sake. But now I can get on with polishing the rice. Well, no time like the present. I better get started. Yeah, very definitely this is Zoro by the sounds of it. So Zoro will have to just leave some of the next day if we can put it off, whereas, well, who's she showing she'd rather just get on with it. Uh, anyway, where's the entrance? There. Nice balls. I'll have some of them, thanks. So yeah, you can see... And they bail of ice. So yeah, you can see that number increasing uh, in the side. That is the actual pouch again, as mentioned. Fill that up and you basically get a free... revive, essentially. You're interested in learning how to boost? Okay, are you, Snowy? Well, this thing here is for polishing the ice. It looks more like pounding it. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've got something that I think you'll like. <laughs> it's just some leftover stuff from the store. But I made it myself. It's called... Beast of the Gods. Oh, but you even... Are you even old enough to drink, Snowy? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty much... <laughs> About us who's over a hundred years old at least. Because uh, that's the time from Shirinui to, to the revival. But anyways, we've got the sake. We need to, I guess, take it to Susano and see what he does with it. Uh, uh, huh? Hold on, right there, Fido. That's well. Is that Kyushu's famous homebrew sake? So we give him that. But for Fido, my friend, did you bring me some Kushi sake? Oh, what a glorious day! Ah, good old sake. Sake? I use the pronounce that word. I'm just gonna keep saying the hell I say because again, that's how I drill it in my head. A man without drinking is like a warrior without his trusty sword. In fact, it's ever an angry himself while. I the power of sake in his battle with the uh, dreaded orgy. It's also clear, let the training begin. I'll just try a bit of my usual routine. Okay, here I come. Now honestly, one thing I like is some of the things that he comes out with. So what we've got to do here is basically just power slash what he goes up against. Fish your eyes on this Susano style exploding implosion. That's quite a contrary. An explosion's an external force, whereas an implosion's an internal. I don't get that whatsoever. But yeah, half the names he comes out with for his things are really weird. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the things I like about Susano, he's completely nuts. <laughs> Susano's style? Exploded implosion! And just do the same here. If we could do that before, why didn't we just do it? That's amazing! He slides through a huge rock clean in half! <laughs> He doesn't even understand. He really are something. Wow, I didn't think he could do it. Pop pops. I mean, either. Uh, I know. Of course I could. After all, I am Susano, the greatest warrior ever! You were just showing off when you said you were now he's ascendant. Someone like you would have no trouble fighting monsters, <laughs> Well... <laughs> Look at his face, you see the sweat. <laughs> well, anyways, thanks a lot, and now I can start doing business again. Did you say monsters? Oh, uh, of course, no problem. This is the job of most skilled warrior of all in Nippon. Yes, I shall rid these lands of vile presence. Just sit back and watch the great Susano do his work his magic. <laughs> I 
He should get all puffed up. He's nothing without us. Think he'll be okay? The monsters aren't so real as you ask me. Ah, glorious Amaterasu. For God's sake! Japan! <laughs> what a pleasure to witness your heroic deeds. I am in awe. When you cleave through into the... When you cleave the boulder into two, my heart skipped a beat. See your skills with both. Is to witness to great art. Yeah? So, do we have a water the lady? I highly think your participation had an impact, little bug. It's Eason! 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 Stop calling me a bug! <laughs> I'll come back into your commando if you say that again! I would. So, <laughs> oh, relax, lady. Fibbly is more comfy, anyways. <laughs> Yeah, let's get back to that wall thing you were talking about. Come on, Ari, take your pawn. <laughs> something, oh, go, something, oh, go on, Saint. <laughs> I must apologize. I would like to reward you, but I'm afraid I have the power. I can barely muster enough strength to make a flower blossom. Hmm, that looks decayed. Well, my body stands firmly here, within the confines of the village. My roots spread far and wide, protecting remote areas outside. These parts of me are known as guardian saplings. They collect praise, and admiration that gives me strength. The recent evil has eroded these guardian saplings. If this continues, I will roll away as well. And my power will vanish. <laughs> Matarasu's got to sleep. Worse yet, the dark power grows stronger with each passing day. Life as we know it will be consumed utterly in no time. Oh man, this is getting heavy. Great and powerful Matarasu. Can I be so bold to request your assistance in rejuvenating these guardian saplings by lifting the curse that enslaves them? I shall mark the locations of nearby saplings on your map. So that tells us where we need. Nope, not Kamiki. <laughs> uh, I've gone tired. I have. Even enough strength to speak now. I hope that uh, my request has not fallen on deaf ears. Amaterasu, may the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. Bah! I'm always such a very good fight, but I'm sure I don't want to put my nose into this mess. Still. I'm somewhat verbally it's to like kill the brush steals. Anyway, I'm easy going at all. What could probably go wrong? Hey, did you just did you listen to her verbal? You got permission to brush that needs me to save the world, and I'll steal and boom. Yeah, that's a ticket. And anyway, we should start by following those marks on the map. <laughs> so, what's my merchant set up shop here? Okay, man. Guess I better offload some stuff before I head before I head back. Feel free to take a look if you've been sent to do some shopping pop. So, we'll just have a look, see what he has. He has these feed bags again. We discussed them in the last episode. Typically, what I say is that grab at least one or maybe two feed bags of each type. Uh, fish will need for a little while, so I'll probably hold on to that. Um, these will find quite regularly, just basically help health restorations. Uh, and you can sell items as well, these two will become later, important later on. Anyways, so let's get moving on and head off to the next area. Which is Shenshu Field. 
huh? You probably know this already, I mean, but this here is Shinshu Field, the most beautiful field in Nippon. At least, it's supposed to be. But ever since the incident, I've been getting a bad vibe. We better watch where we're going. You can have a look at your map by holding down the... or oh, in the case of the Xbox version, the left trigger. Let's pay attention to the map as we push ahead. So yeah, again, we've got these trees, can't do anything with them just now. And we have this kind of grey area. I mean, that's the first guy in Saplin marked on our map. It's supposed to be place for travel for the rest of them recuperate. But it just looks like... But look at it! It looks like you just fall over at any moment. This place is definitely cursed from the looks of it. Places where evil is taking a hold, lurking monsters from lurking monsters from far and wide are known as curse zones. But I've never seen one this big. It's with all the plants in the area, even that big tree. It'd be like a monster. It'd take a monster with powers beyond a, even a god to do this. That tree is an offshoot of Sakuya. It protects from that nature in this area. Maybe its natural beauty would return if we revived it. But how the heck can we do that, anyways? So, yeah, these things here, we need to go and try and sort out that sapling. Anyways, these things here, they're known as squalls. They contain enemies you can fight to get experience. Not experience, but get. Get cash, anyways. Uh, we've got a another merchant within the curse zone, so mm, I'm not sure I really want to head in there. <laughs> I think I'll just stick to the path. But we have someone who's not affected by it. Let's have a word with him. No, he doesn't really have a name. What just happened? I was out here chopping wood and communicating with nature as usual when I hear a loud rumble like, the earth, like an earthquake from the lake. And a huge gust of wind blew out of nowhere. I don't know what happened next, but when I came to, it was like this. My art workshop just was just across the stream. But I ended up vanishing when Miss Curson appeared. The earth must be angry. All I want to do is live with nature in peace, man. but now I can't. I know a figure running from the lake towards Kamiki. Whoever it was, man, I hope Mother Earth kept them safe. That's interesting. So we have a bit more of a lead to who's took the sword out of Moon Cave. So it's someone from Kamiki, anyways. He's got more to say. What's up, nature buddy? Curious about that cave? It's the entrance to a place called Hana Valley. The site of an amazing waterfall, but monsters have moved in now. There's a trippy crystal ball that makes plants grow and shrine there. You think it gone? You think gardeners would be flocking here for it? Actually, not long ago. That Susano guy was marching in there. It's weird. Normally he runs away from the sight of monsters. And he hardly seems to be the time to try and his hand at garden. <laughs> anyway, it's by Karma Man. Uh, you could be attacked if you went in. Well, by the looks of the map, it looks like that's where we need to be heading. So, let's just go in and check the place out. Oh, that's kind of what happens when you enter a curse area. I did not actually mean to enter the water there. But no, essentially what it'll do is it'll drain your ink and drain your health. Uh, uh, all curse zones do that. But anyways, we're in Hannah Valley. I don't think it's meant to look like this. But anyways, let's save now, so let's just save quickly. And 
get a move on. And we got a chest here. What does this contain? Traveler's Charm. So it increases the Godhood of by one. Again, Godhood essentially allows you to take a free hit. Nearly ended up in the lake again. And we have more imps. I think we have a new one this time. It being a red imp. No, we've already discovered red imps actually. Now another. So just power slash. We get Dean. Dean Frank and one killed. And we get one on as well. I need to remember, I need to go and pick these up. There's an item that you get later in the game which does that for you. And I've been playing a bit of the, my personal save file, so I kind of thought I need to do that. No, attack this one, please! Oh yeah, need to slash his guitar away. Makes him vulnerable. And one more hit and a power slash. I grab the infant. And we've got the way in. And there's a helicopter outside. But normal. Huh? We got the monsters, so why did we got the power to disappear? I guess we could have. Oh, well, the gods from these lands must be really strong. They can't in interfere till we do something about this, this stagnant air. I guess we better head deeper. More pots for us to destroy, some oranges. <laughs> As I said, don't get a fresh feedback because you don't need it, you get one there. So let's just keep moving. And we have what look like demonic trees. Hey, check out the tree! It's moving! Better be careful, army. I'm just gonna keep moving. You see that? You threw some fruit at us. Show it we mean business. Try and hit its fruit back at it. Draw one quick stroke to hit fruit back. Remember how... You remember how, don't you? <laughs> I'm being attacked by both ends. <laughs> yeah, I... Look, he's done it. There was a zone through at me. Let's pass this old creep tree while we can. No, don't look at that one. Again, we can finish them off later, but we need another skill. Again, just like the other trees in the area. This is requiring the same skill. I'm just gonna run past you and not care. And... Uh, Looks like someone's going over that painting. And Susan's back. And well, we caught up to him. Imps. And we look to have a new one. These are yellow imps. Uh, typically, what they do if you can see all these is they burn into the ground. Deal with this green imp quickly. So keep an eye on where the yellow imp pops up. What you want to do is get around the back of it. That way you catch it off guard. Oh god, that was close. Yeah, when they do that, they basically leave themselves up for a bit. I want to deal with this green imp while I can. And he's bowing back in the ground. Did I pick up a demon plan? Yeah, I did. Where is he? Well, back in again. Just attack, attack, attack. And again, just like before. I was watch you get a demon back. Again, we don't have a purpose right now, but they will do later. Oh, come on! Really? You're gonna be that petty? So by doing that, we basically got the curse of that drawing, and Susano is pushing against a wall for some reason. Huh? What was all that racket? Oh, it's you! Oh, for fuck's sake! 
Oh, it's you, mutt. What are you doing here? Go home! I told you I'm not a little bit of a to this. Anyway, how valid. Hannah Valley is no place for a mutt like you. Beyond this point lies my secret training ground. It is a perfect place to hide. Uh, I mean, to train! <laughs> now, get off! Be off with you! And you're just gonna keep pushing against some of us. Look at you. Well, it looks like we need to pay attention to this area. Whoa, check out this wall painting. It's ever a crystal spear. That a crystal spear can make trees grow is a shrine somewhere around here. Based on the painting here, I say the that rumor must be true. Still, something's not right. Don't you think there's something missing from this painting? Well, you need you need three things for plants to grow. Water, someone to put them in, which I think that all deals with, and sunlight. Which basically gets braided into the painting. And by doing that, it's Mark and Bar. She was explosives in the rock or something? What in heaven's name? How did that happen? Well, now I can go and hide. Uh, I mean, now I can go and train. Yeah, you don't seem like the most capable of warriors. I have, based on what we've seen. It's a whole plan of the ancient ritual. It ain't half bad. Ah, uh, that's a lot coming from the great east. Oh, shut up. Be exploiting yourself. You just hear there's a thief. Just, yeah, this war seems a bit off, so we need to just jump up. And. I think that's our sapling. <laughs> Looks a bit small though, I'll say. What a strange place. Is this really secret training house just all I mentioned? Speaking of which, where'd Bob's go anyways? I'm more interested in this. What's up with this tiny sapling? Huh? This one might seem like Saki is coming from this sapling. Uh, yeah, just... No, no. I mean, that wall painting had a huge, magnificent tree on it. I see what you mean, but we also have an orb which was only some Maybe monsters evil is giving us its power at bay. Anyways, let's move on. I just need to go power slash through here and make uh, can you continue on. But I think we're gonna call it maps for today. Uh we've made it out Kamiki, uh Looked at Shinshu Field, made our way through, or started making our way through Hannah Valley, found the sapling, and yeah, we're pretty much moving our way along. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all later. See ya! I've got a question, if you'd hear me out, out in your defense, you never had a chance. And so tell me straight, I won't go, this is all